Okay. On the water anarchy. I think Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, Miyagi. <laughs> Name is Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi. Hi, I'm Morgan Kinney. I'm here with Chris Miyaki, Greg Adams, and Max Reesing. They're sailing on the Beneteau Social Bowl, and I'm going to step in front of them all. So these are all college sailors straight from Milwaukee, Marquette, UW-Milwaukee, and you're breaking into the big boat world. So how do you stay sailing in the big boats when you're just a college sailor? You, you make a lot of connections and have a lot of fun, and it just builds on from there. You sail with other people that are on different boats, and it's a great experience. Plus, chartering a boat every year for the Key West Race Week always helps. <laughs> Which boat do you charter for Key West Race Week? It's a J105. I, oh. I don't remember the name of how it. How do you guys do? Very well. <laughs> and what about you? Is this your first Mac? This is my second Mac. I really enjoy um, doing it. I like the teamwork. And, um, you know, Milwaukee is a great sailing community, Milwaukee Community Sailing Center, South Shore Yacht Club, Milwaukee Yacht Club. And, you know, we just bring the college students in and get them on cruise for summer. And, you know, we have a lot of college sailors from Milwaukee doing the Mac this year. Oh, so it's your boat. No, it's not. But... <laughs> Who are you speaking for then? Well, just Milwaukee in general, you know, Sociable and Mosquito and Edge. We have a lot of college sailors out here this year. Merlin, Bacant. And y'all do the beer can races every Wednesday night? Great. Yeah, every Wednesday. It's a lot of fun. It's a pretty social atmosphere. Everybody's friends right the second we get off the water, buying drinks for each other. It's just a great situation we have in Milwaukee. A perfect situation for a college sailor anyways. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> have you guys been to the island before? Obviously you have. It's, you have. It's pretty stinky. It's a great place. It's, it's a lot of fun to get there. It's a goal, and when you're five miles out with no wind, it's just such an attainable goal, and it takes a while. But... We definitely have a tradition now started where we uh, usually rent bikes on the island, tandems usually, and ride around on the island. I think it's fun, you know, when you get in and go with your crew and, you know, ride around the bike, tandem bikes, and kind of fun and kind of goof off, you know. It's a good, lighthearted atmosphere afterwards. You know, everyone's happy, everyone made it there, and safe and sound. Are you guys doing the delivery back? We are not. We are actually taking an RV back. On our boat. Yeah, we have about 20 people coming back in the RV on yeah, Tuesday we all, night. We all have to get back to class. We have to get back to class on Tuesday, so we're leaving right away. But, you know, we always stop at the Pink Pony to get a drink. Well, I, have, I actually have a question since you guys are young, and since this, this race, you know, with the tracking and the live stuff and, and so on, it's become kind of accessible while you're out on the water, at least a portion yeah. of the time. How much... Of your, you know, uh, of your tactics and routing is going to depend on what you can get on the internet and who you can see on the tracker. We never check until we're we never check until we're past the Manitous. Then we look we look at the live stream and see how we're doing compared to all the other boats. Yeah. We generally don't spend too much time watching it, but we'll definitely check upon it when we're near shore and everything. But overall, we just try to sail our own race and not get distracted by what the competition's doing. Do you think that that the, that the connectivity that some boats have kind of I don't know. I mean, people talk about that it kind of makes the race different. It makes it so it's less of sort of a, you're out there experience. You're more connected. Is that a positive or negative? What do you think? I think it's a positive. I mean, it's only a th it can only be a two it's only a two day race, so you know it's only so much you can really affect. Once you choose a course, you know you're going to stick with it, and you can see what others did, and if they're doing better, that's what's going to happen. You know, could be, I, could be longer than two days in a light air forty point seven, huh? No, I know three two to three days. Yeah. You know, but. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, it's a one. We're in one design class, so it's great, you know. I mean, but I mean that's what I'm saying. If we make a decision and follow it, you know, by the time we know someone's doing better than us, it's not really going to affect what we can do at that point. As, as college sailors sailing one design, and I think you have what nine nine forty point sevens or something like that. 12, 12. 12. Holy crap! It must be a lot. I mean, it must be a lot more fun than racing handicap, right? Oh, it's a ton more fun. We have seven boats finishing within 30 seconds of each other every race, and just great mark roundings. There's never one boat that's yeah. There's never one boat that's way out in front every single time. It's a new boat. It's a great fleet. Give me that for a soundbite for later. Friends don't let friends sail perf. Or 
or OR apparently. Or yeah, or anything really. <laughs> All right, the the uh, the Milwaukee boys aboard Sociable. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Morgan. Your first on the water anarchy solo interview. Nice job, guys. Thank you so much.